Hey YouTube, it is one half of your favorite moms. Ebony from Olivia has two moms. I'm here to answer a question that we get very often and I thought it is absolutely very difficult to spend individual time with each individual person who has a question. So what we're gonna do is trend the most popular questions and put it into a new series called Ask OH2M. So a question that we get a lot is what cameras do we use, what programs and software do we use, and ba pretty much how do you vlog? Now this is a very popular question besides Ebony and Denise, when are you gonna have baby number two? When is baby number two coming? When are you having baby number two? <laughs> so that is definitely the number one question that we usually get asked, but this is the second most, so we're gonna go with that. So let's just jump right into it right now. This is the first camera we ever, ever, ever started with. It is the Canon Power Elf. There is like so many different versions of this camera, but this is literally our first vlogging camera ever. I really do love this camera. This is the first camera that we ever started vlogging with. Um, this was the camera that almost all vloggers at the time when we started about two years ago was using, so we invested in it. Right now, I am switching off to this camera to show you guys the quality of the first vlogging camera that we ever used. As you can see, the quality is honestly not bad. If you're just beginning, do not spend your money into so many cameras and gears until you know this is something that you're gonna do on a steady basis. If you're somebody that only uploads like once a month, don't have time to edit, then this is a great camera to start off with. You can probably even find it much cheaper on Amazon or eBay. This is the next camera that we currently use for our vlogs. Um, we've definitely upgraded, but still, as you can see, we are with the Canon series. This is the Canon G7X. Definitely a wonderful camera that we are now currently using for our vlogs. This camera is an investment. Again, if you're not a daily vlogger, if you're not uploading at least once a week, I honestly would not put my hard earned money into cameras. This camera at the time when I bought it was about 600, 700, I wanna say actually $700. It was a gift from my wife, because as you can see, we are very serious and passionate about making YouTube videos. So what I love about this camera is Boom, it has the flip. So as I'm vlogging, I'm able to see myself as I'm vlogging where you can be able to better determine if your lighting is great, if you're blurry, if you're not blurry, and so forth. So I'm going to switch to this right now. Now you guys are looking at the quality of the G7X. Again, look how crystal clear. You can probably see the difference if you rewind back to the first vlogging camera that we used to now this vlogging camera. The only thing about this camera is that I have the bad habit of looking up at the screen and looking up there instead of you guys. It's always great when you're vlogging or making a video to look into the lens because that's how you better connect to your audience. The next camera that I do have that I did put definitely a great investment into was actually a gift from my lovely dear sweet mother is the Canon T5i. Very expensive camera. A, it's it's an upgrade, almost parallel to this camera. I'm actually recording on this camera right now, so it's hard to show you, but this is what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I'm going to switch using my vlogging camera to show you guys the camera that I'm currently using right now. This is the Canon T5i. These are the cameras that, this is the camera that I actually use for when we are making videos like this, where we're just sitting down on our bed or standing with this backdrop. This is the camera that I use, and this is the mic, the Rode. I love the Rode mic very 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 good so this is the third camera that we use so those are the three cameras I still use the first one all the way up to the one that I'm using right now so those are the three cameras that we have and PS this is not a sponsored video this is truly my opinion and also what I see other youtubers using So 
software. Another question that is actually asked of us a lot is what do we use to edit our videos? Well, I am 150% a Mac user. I just love using Mac. So the programs that we first started with was your regular iMovie that comes with the computer. Um, iMovie is a great program to use for beginners and to just learn how to make your videos look a certain way. But now, what I use to edit our videos and what I use to edit this video is Final Cut Pro. Another expensive program, but definitely a great investment if again, you are making videos on a regular basis. There is no hidden secret as to how we make our videos and what cameras we use, because honestly, the way I figured it out was just by searching on YouTube what cameras people are using. And I love watching vlogs, hence why we became vlog so I always pay attention to what the vloggers are using and what are the current things that they're talking about in their videos. Ebony, what should I vlog about? Honestly, that is up to you and to your platform as to what do you want to put into the universe. Social media is an awesome thing when you have a platform to make a difference. It's also a great platform when you give joy to somebody. It's a great platform to be able to just share your lives with somebody because I'm sure somebody, even if it's just one person, will learn something about the videos that you are posting. But Ebony, what if I'm boring? What if people don't want to watch me? Who cares? It doesn't matter how many people are subscribed to your channel, how many likes or dislikes you get, how many positive or negative comments that you get. As long as you are happy with the content you are uploading and you feel good about the material that you're putting out into the universe, then all of that shouldn't matter because it eventually will fall into place. Denise and I had no idea that we would have over 80,000 Team 2 Moms in a time span of us doing this. We think it's amazing that you guys are into our story, but when we first started, we did not care about the numbers. The numbers are just numbers. It's a matter of just getting that one comment from somebody that said that we are their inspiration is what kept us going. So just don't worry about that. Upload videos and as time goes on, you will get better. Just remember, Rome was not built in one day. It takes time. Keep editing, keep doing you, keep uploading, and I promise you, you will get the hang of it just like we did. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have more questions for us, remember, comment down below. If you have questions about a topic like this video, comment down below as well. Again, this is our new series, hashtag AskOH2M, where you can ask myself, Denise, or even Olivia questions. Except for, when is baby number two coming? Don't worry, follow up video later down the future in regards to that. As always guys, thank you so much for being so loyal and supportive of the Team 2 Mom movement. We love you guys. Okay, Team 2 Moms. One, two, three.